praises to the Most High, unto His Son, Yeshua, unto the Holy Spirit. Blessings, family. Coming back on with another video. The surface of my spiritual rim this morning. Um, I believe shortly after I was praying. And I had made a comment on a post uh, under a video um, early this morning. Um, probably about one or two o'clock and, um, this actual chapter here goes hand in hand, um, or what, you know, I was actually saying and, um, you know, speaks volume about skull first. So I want to, um, bring this forth as second Peter three and what the almighty gave me as a highlighted, uh, Verse was four. I'm, I'm sorry, five. For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water. So, that was what was given. And normally, when um, I receive um, a chapter. Um, and a verse I'm normally led to go down and I'm just going to um, read um, starting back at the sixth verse then I'll go um, down okay it says whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserve unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, word not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with ferment, heat, fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought you to be in an all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto of the day of god where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be dil diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and, uh, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. Also, as also in all his epistles, um, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wickedness fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory and both now and forever. And before I say amen, I want to go back at the top and read down to the fifth verse. This second epistle, beloved, 
I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of this coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Amen. So um, I came across uh, this young man named Vercab Malone uh, months, months, months ago. I um, went into a live chat and he was actually talking about the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. Um, I mentioned to him, you know, as I do with ones similar with the same mindset and um, which a pair's heart is, is crying out and saying, I, I don't believe you all are the true people. And I always often ask and say, you know, um, it's a spiritual awakening, um, it's supernatural and all I, you know, want to say to you and all, just ask the almighty this truth. I know t so many people who have doubted us as the true people who will seek the almighty and the almighty have told them. And now they're on the forefront sharing this truth and they're, uh, you know, different nations. Um, and also when I say this also, you know, a lot of Caucasian women and men are on the forefront. So, um, one of our brothers, um, met up with him at a airport. I want to say yesterday. And it's just a conversation of talking about trying to prove this about the Bible, trying to talk about that. And both of them very intelligent, not taking away anything from my Hebrew brother or the, you know, the young man named for cap. But what the problem is, is that, um, the almighty don't want us to waste our time in this debate, debating and battling and trying to prove anything. They need to seek the almighty <clears throat> for themselves, ask the almighty for this truth and go in truth. If they're not asking, well, that can tell about their personal relationship and where their heart is at. They don't want to know. Are they just, you know, in a place that they've always known, you know, that so-called African-Americans and wants to be, um, not, you know, the people and they've always looked down upon us. And now the truth was coming out, but it's a super, um, spiritual, uh, natural awakening. And, you know, if you say I heard from someone else and someone told me this and I just went on with it and I followed that person, you, you need to seek the almighty on your own. He need to walk you through. He need to give you what else is needed as well. Remember all these, uh, brothers and sisters, including myself on YouTube, Facebook, wherever we at, it's about, you know, the almighty leading us to that person. And that could be one time there are not rulers are above us to say, oh, they got all the answers. The almighty have anointed all the ones he want to anoint to bring forth a message. And in that. It's not about you camping out on one particular person's page or following them because you like the way they might pronounce a word or following them because they bring a lot of gossip to you. It's about you individually knowing the almighty, you know, one-on-one -on -one with Yeshua and God almighty, you know, one-on-one -on -one personally that you will be counted worthy, that you will know his voice. I've been on a brother, uh, page that I, uh, you know, was following and, and I went back on his page and I, I saw some information and, um, he brought someone on to talk about, you know, in these last days about, um, uh, what they're putting through the, all the systems, all the phones, all the devices, you know, all this, that is going to be happening and it's happening in the water, you know, all of this and all of that. So it's good to understand what their purpose is you know, what they're trying to do. Nothing's wrong with that. But when you start doubting 
God Almighty for truth and understanding that he will protect you, then that's where a problem come in at. If that person was brought on to say on this date, they're going to round you all up. Okay. Then you, you seek the almighty for understanding the truth and say, father, is this true? Because we still need to seek him. But when you bring someone on and then you as a Hebrew brother going to say, um, if you join my class, I will enlighten you even further. That means you have to pay money to get the truth that the almighty have placed before you. See, that's not right. Brothers and sisters. That's not right. Oh, join my uh, Patreon and you will get all this first before everybody else. If the almighty have given you something, you sitting on it. That's not working from a place of where we should be at in God almighty, the most high, whatever the almighty have given us when he give me a word or give me scriptures or, you know, if he just have me to come on and make a comment or whatnot, I'm coming on because he's leading me to do so. Anybody else outside of that looking for uh, merchandise far as to make ones out of merchandise, you coming on and you donating and you to their, their cause because this or that, I'm telling you, you individually need to seek the almighty. What these people are doing, the ones like Vercab Milan, uh, Milena, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. They're looking for you know, a, a person that above all of us with a doctrine so they can tap into that and de denounce or uh, renounce or however, what, what we have in place, but they fail to realize it's the almighty waking us up. But when you have brothers and sisters out there trying to make ones out of merchandise, yeah, it's going to pair that. Oh yeah. You follow this. I got the answers. I got the whatever, you know, that I can bring forth to you. Brothers and sisters, we need to be one-on-one -on -one with our creator. We need to seek him for truth and understanding every single day for him to lead us and guide us. If he leads you to a page on YouTube or on Facebook or however, trust me, he's leading you for you to get something from them. It's not about you camping out like you staying upon and waiting for this person to put something out before you even pick up a Bible or you don't pick up a Bible, you waiting just on that person. That's not what the almighty have put this in place. And he did not put anyone over us in the in when it get closer to when your shoe is coming to gather us and in the second Exodus, however, the almighty is going to do it. He may put people on the forefront that they will be, you know, ones that speak out for us on national TV, national stage. But until that time, until that time, we about being one-on-one -on -one with our creator, getting to know this truth. He woke us up. And again, if you woke up by someone's telling you, you need to definitely understand what this is about. Because what I've heard more so of people woke up supernatural by the almighty speaking to them or they're having dreams or, you know, he leading them to scriptures or whatnot or, or, or websites or different things like that. So let's just not get this twisted and get deeper in, 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 uh, in the round lane or the round path because someone sounds good. They looks great. They organize according to what we accustomed to that. We're going to follow them. No, you need to be going after ones who have the Ruach, the anointing that the almighty have given them what is needed to get you through because you could put 30 people or 30,000 on one person, uh, on a, one person page, uh, or, or account on YouTube and all 30,000 could have a different question to get them closer to the almighty. Not everything they're saying is uniting with everybody that make them get closer because everybody are not the same. They're not the same people. They have different desires and needs and they have, you know, different things that they need to get them closer. So not just one person going to bring that to you. It's not church family. You, this, this YouTube, this Facebook is not church. It's not where you go every Sunday and you sit before a pastor. It's not that trust and know the almighty have led me on YouTube pages to get something and to comment. He have led others on my pages in the same sense. Wake up family, get closer to our creator and know that our time is near and we need to be right. And what it says here also about, um, finding ourselves, you know, worthy of this long suffering. Let me down here and, and, um, ye therefore 
but see ye knowing these things bef before, beware lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Blessings, family. I pray that you receive what is needed from this message that the Almighty have put on my heart to share and given me this chapter of this book. Amen. Blessings, family. Shalom.